You've likely been using macOS Sierra for a while, but here are five tricks you've probably never used. For a long time, Safari was an average browser, at best. But the last couple of versions have made it a truly excellent web browser, and macOS Sierra makes it better than ever. Now, power users of Safari have known that in the past, if you accidentally closed a tab, it could be easily recovered by pressing Shift-Command-T. And while that's a really handy trick that many of you may not know, it gets even more uh, complex and more handy in macOS Sierra. Let's say we close multiple tabs. Whoops. All you have to do is press Shift-Command-T multiple times to get every single tab back. It refreshes the page just as it was when you left it. It gets even handier. Let's say we accidentally close a window. Uh-oh, I had four tabs in there. All I have to do is press Shift-Command-T and it will open all four of those tabs. Now, if that still isn't cool enough for you and you're not that impressed, try quitting Safari altogether. Oops, well, all I have to do is open Safari and then once the new window opens, I just press Shift-Command-T and it will recover all four tabs or as many tabs as you have from your previous session. Super handy. Number two, Siri is now on the desktop. And in my opinion, it's a lot more powerful than the Siri we get on iOS. The problem is, is that on Mac OS X, it's a little bit difficult to launch. You can either press the Siri indicator inside of the dock itself, or you can press it in the menu bar, but let's say you don't wanna to have to go pull out that Siri icon every time you wanna use it. Well, in Mac OS X, if you hold down Command and Space, Siri will launch. Now, many know that Command Space quickly is also the spotlight search. However, let's say you wanna invoke Siri really quickly and you don't wanna to have to hold down that hotkey. Well, that's not too much of a problem. All you have to do is open System Preferences, and then once you've opened System Prefs, go to the Siri section. Once you're on the Siri section, at the very bottom, it will allow you to choose from a couple of presets or set your own custom preset. Now, let's say I want to do Control Space. Well, now I can. All I have to do is quit out of System Prefs, and the minute I press Control Space, Siri launches. Very handy. Number three, Lazy Typist Rejoice. Two of the handiest iOS keyboard tricks are being able to double press the spacebar to insert a period and to automatically capitalize. Well, that functionality is now in Mac OS X. All you have to do is open System Preferences, navigate to Keyboard, and then click the tab that says Text. Once you're under there, you can click Capitalize Words Automatically and Add Period with Double Space. And uh, if you have it enabled, you should probably disable correct spelling automatically. It is literally the most annoying thing ever. Number four, I am a huge Google Docs fan. If anything, because multiple people can collaborate on the same document. Now, Apple has added that into the iWork suite, but let's be honest, most people don't have or use iWork on their machines or on their iPhones. Everyone pretty much though uses Notes. And now you can also collaborate using notes.app. All you have to do is on a note that you wanna share, click this little person plus icon. And that allows you to share, not just for viewing, but also for editing with anyone. You can also share it, for example, to Twitter, and that will allow everyone to view the note, but not edit it. It's a really great way to not only collaborate, but show what you're working on, on an easy scale. Tip number five, I'm betting that most of you already know about the picture in picture feature in Mac OS Sierra, but we can take it a little bit further. If you don't, you can double right click any video source from YouTube, Netflix, what have you, and then you can go to this little contextual menu which allows you to view it in picture in picture mode. Now picture in picture mode is great because you can navigate away from this you know, YouTube tab into another Safari tab or hide Safari and use another app entirely. And this video will continue to play in the background. It's great for binging on Netflix. You can even resize this window by dragging the little parameters with the arrows. The problem is, especially on a big monitor like this, is it will only snap into each one of the four corners. But that's kind of a problem because it blocks my work over here. At the same time, I can't really watch the video side by side because it snaps into this very furthest corner. Well, if you hold down the command key while you drag the window, the window won't snap anymore and you can drag it to exactly where you want it. And it's great because then you can do both. You can watch your show on the side and work right alongside it. So that's it. Hopefully you are more of a pro with Mac OS Sierra than you were a couple minutes ago. If you liked this video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, that other button seems to work okay too. Subscribe to the channel to see more tech videos like these. But most importantly, and as always, stay snazzy.